closer to home, the IPFW women played their Summit League opener tonight. The Dons hosted IUPUI. We're having a little technical difficulties with the highlights. However, we hope to have them posted on Wayne.com shortly. I can tell you what happened. Well, Amanda Hyde continued her torrid pace this season. Season She scored 30 for IPFW. Uh, but it was not enough as IUPUI with a big second half run. They win it 79 to 74 over the Mastodons. All right, let's move on now. Indiana Tech hosting the Sport One shootout today and tomorrow tonight. The host Warriors facing St. Mary's. We pick it up early on. Kanisha Bass. Nothing fishy about this one. She had 12 points, three of them coming right there. Indiana Tech off to a seven zip start. Then it's Tech again. Chelsea Carradine, two from underneath, and Tech starts the game on a 14 zip run. Carradine had 15 for the game. St. Mary's firing back, though. Michaela Matheny hits a three. That would make it 18 to five, but Rachel Cruzy. We saw her play some high school ball at Homestead, and she can shoot it. She had 23 points to lead Tech. Indiana Tech puts up 109 points. The Lady Warriors a winner tonight, 109 to 89. Sticking with the Sport One shootout, 13-year NBA vet and former Detroit Pistons Steve Mix leading the Trine Ladies against Spring Arbor. Trine led the entire first half, and Trine was looking good here in the second. 43-35 Trine for that Kelsey Swisher bucket. Spring Arbor rallying to go ahead for the first time with his layup right there. Jessica Garrison makes it 49-48 with about four and a half to go in the second half. Next play is trying to answering Sydney Sprague with the bucket. Trying to up by one with four to go, but Spring Arbor would get the lead and they wouldn't let it go. Amy Conkle with the bucket right there. Spring Arbor beats trying 61-56. We got comments, highlights, plus much, much more coming up next in the zone. Hey, we're here at Indiana Tech. Stay tuned for more of the Highlight Zone.